Welcome back to the Story Bypass. Today, we have an intriguing and controversial figure to discuss, Fulgencio Batista. He was a prominent political figure in Cuba, serving as its leader for several years. Join us as we dive deep into the life, rise, rule, and fall of Fulgencio Batista. Let's begin. Fulgencio Batista, born on January 16, 1901, in Baines, Cuba, came from humble beginnings. He grew up in poverty and had to work from a young age to support his family. But little did anyone know that this young boy would eventually become one of the most influential and controversial figures in Cuban history. Early life Batista's early life was marked by struggles, but he had a strong determination to succeed. In his late teens, he enlisted in the Cuban army and quickly rose through the ranks. He displayed leadership qualities that caught the attention of his superiors. It was during this time that Batista witnessed the political instability and corruption that plagued Cuba. These experiences would shape his future as he sought to bring stability and prosperity to his country. Rise to power In 1933, Batista played a pivotal role in the overthrow of President Gerardo Machado's regime. This event marked the beginning of Batista's political career. Initially, he served as the head of the armed forces, but his ambition drove him to aim higher. In 1940, Batista won the presidency through democratic elections. He implemented various social and economic reforms that were intended to modernize Cuba. His policies focused on improving education, healthcare, and infrastructure. Batista also attracted foreign investment, particularly from the United States, which led to increased economic growth and prosperity. However, this economic progress came at a cost, as it further widened the gap between the wealthy elite and the impoverished majority. Political repression As Batista consolidated his power, his administration became increasingly authoritarian. He suppressed political dissent, curtailed press freedom, and established alliances with influential business interests. These actions alienated many Cubans who sought genuine democracy and social justice. Despite the economic progress, corruption remained a significant issue under Batista's rule. His government was accused of accepting bribes and engaging in illicit activities. The vast majority of Cubans continued to live in poverty, while the elite few amassed great wealth. The Cuban Revolution The dissatisfaction among the Cuban people with Batista's regime eventually led to the rise of a young revolutionary named Fidel Castro. Castro, along with other like-minded individuals, formed a guerrilla movement aimed at overthrowing Batista's government. The Cuban Revolution, which began in 1953, gained momentum over the years. The rebels fought against Batista's forces and gained support from various sectors of society. The revolution Revolutionaries, led by Castro, ultimately succeeded in ousting Batista from power on January 1, 1959. Legacy and Aftermath Batista fled Cuba after his ousting and lived in exile until his death in 1973. His legacy remains highly controversial. Some argue that he brought economic growth and modernization to Cuba, while others condemn his authoritarian rule and close ties with foreign interests. The revolution led by Fidel Castro and his comrades brought about significant changes in Cuba. It resulted in the establishment of a socialist government and a strained relationship with the United States, which lasted for decades. Today, Cuba continues to grapple with the legacy of Batista's rule and the impact of the Cuban Revolution. The overthrow of Batista marked a turning point in Cuban history, ushering in a new era of socialist governance under Fidel Castro. In the aftermath of the revolution, Castro's government implemented sweeping reforms, including the nationalization of industries and the redistribution of land. This move aimed to address the economic disparities that had plagued Cuba under Batista's rule. However, the United States, which had previously supported Batista, viewed Castro's revolution as a threat to its interests in the region. This led to strained relations between the two countries, culminating in the failed Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961 and the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. Despite facing economic challenges and an ongoing trade embargo by the United States, Cuba made significant progress in areas such as education and healthcare. The country became known for its achievements in these fields, with high literacy rates and a well-regarded healthcare system. However, Cuba also faced criticism for its lack of political freedoms and human rights abuses under Castro's rule. The suppression of dissenting voices and limited access to information became prominent issues that divided opinions on the Cuban government's legitimacy. Over time, as Castro's health declined, his brother Raul Castro assumed power in 2008. Under Raul's leadership, Cuba began to undergo gradual economic reforms, allowing for limited private enterprise and attracting foreign investment. In 2016, the relationship between Cuba and the United States began to thaw, as then-President Barack Obama took steps to normalize diplomatic relations. This led to the real opening of embassies and the easing of travel restrictions, signaling a new chapter in the complex history between the two nations. In 2018, Raul Castro stepped down as president, 
passing the torch to Miguel Diaz-Cano, who became the first non-Castro to hold the presidency in Cuba since the revolution. Diaz-Cano faces the ongoing challenge of balancing economic reforms with maintaining the socialist principles that have defined Cuba for decades. Today, Cuba stands at a crossroads, grappling with economic stagnation, the need for further reforms, and a changing geopolitical landscape. The impact of Fulgencio Batista's rule and the Cuban Revolution can still be felt in the social, political, and economic fabric of the nation. As the Cuban people navigate the complexities of their history, it is essential to remember the different perspectives and experiences that have shaped their country. Understanding the legacy of Batista and the Cuban Revolution allows us to comprehend the challenges and aspirations of a nation seeking its path forward. That brings us to the end of today's episode on Fulgencio Batista. We hope Hope you found this exploration of his life and the Cuban Revolution insightful. Join us next time as we uncover more fascinating stories from around the world on the Story Bypass.